good afternoon everybody uh, i'm going to show you how to answer the question number 41 so um, here you can see i have uh, uh, go to this uh, website the online examination website so once i have go to that place since i have uh, uh, clicked this uh, remember username uh, earlier session so my uh, username automatically comes here and even with the um, browser i have saved the password so password even comes this should uh, you should do this uh, if you are using a personal computer which means uh, if you are using that computer for your uh, or your family use only like uh, if it is in a, um, communication or if it is in a school laboratory then you should not save the password uh, and the username uh, somewhat okay but better not to save the username even right so once you log into this site you can see the course uh, so you can go to this place before going to that i want to show another uh, thing to you uh, actually when you are uh, going to this website you don't have to remember the user uh, url or the um, you don't have to go to uh, for the search engines each and every time you can keep a bookmark you can see on the address bar right hand corner there's this star button you can click on it so it will save uh, in the bookmark bar so here you can see i don't have anything much on the bookmark so it's there you can click on this and you can go to the site you don't have to type the site name or you don't have to search for it since i am i am already logged in i came to this place so here I am going to the course. Now uh, I am going to the English medium paper. Just a little while ago I uh, went inside this and I started, uh, I re a que question paper, re attempt the question paper. So that's why it says in progress uh, continue the last attempt like that. So whenever um, you were not uh, able to finish the exam or you just left it without uh, uh, pressing the finished attempting you can go inside that exam again and uh, you can finish it off now here um, since um, i was earlier in the second section uh, it opened with like this but uh, other than that if you are logging for the first time uh, if you are logging uh, re-attempting the question at the beginning you will get this uh, first part information okay so here i'm going to the second part information structured executions instructions i uh, suggest you to do uh, these uh, structured uh, essay questions at the beginning uh, the first two hours do uh, spend to do these uh, structured essay questions and the last hour uh, you can spend for mcq because uh, then uh, then and there you have to upload the files so uh, it will be easy uh, when there's no rush at the beginning uh, you can easily upload the files to the uh, examination department server so here um, we'll go to uh, see the source file how to download it so i'm going to right click on it and save a link as i'm going to save it on the desktop okay now actually i have already saved it in the desktop so what i can do i can click on uh, the left side of this desktop and i can uh, i just created something called jitmock exam so you can create uh, your index number when during the examination you can create a folder with your index number uh, as the name and once you created that you can go inside that and say save file okay press save button now it's already there that's why it's giving number one here copy one so because of that i say cancel but when you are doing it you have to press save button then after become pressing it answer the questions uh, using the source files in each folder it says so you can go to this place now i'm on the desktop i will go to this place and source file is there i have to right click on it and i have to say extract here so the uh, folder will be unzipped see there is a zip but there is no zip so you can click it and you can see what's inside question 41 there is nothing which means you have to do the question 41 uh, whatever they have asked you have to do it 
and then you have to save the things inside here okay see the next guideline before uploading your answer save it in the folder that corresponds to the question okay you have to save the answers to that folder now i am going to question number 41 which is a um, given uh, for operating system to evaluate operating system competencies now here we'll go to the question uh, number one get a listing of programs that have been installed in your computer through control panel programs and features in windows and they have given ubuntu one even so they have given a small guideline here uh, so if you uh, are keen on it uh, if you are very um, attentive for this then you can just go to this uh, search and say control even though you don't know this right but uh, since we have learned this you should know how to do this okay uh, with the operating system practicals we have done this so we went to the control panel then programs and features you can see all the software installed in my computer so it's asking now i am i have to move uh, between the windows it asks uh, open it then using the snipping tool take an image of the first screen of the above output save it as a jpg file in the question 41 folder with the file name programs and upload it so i have to go to this place i am going to minimize my browser window then you can easily uh, see this uh, uh, clearly visible the window so now i need snipping tool again i go to search and i'll type snipping now you might think uh, why i'm having it on the taskbar but doesn't matter i'm having it here but when you are going for the exam you should know uh, wherever the snipping tool you can go to search and search for it and it will come like this so i'm going to open it here i have showed you uh, during the practical session that mode you can select so i'm going to select mode as full screen snip so it will give a full screen snip now don't worry about the this red color line and the recording thing because i am recording this video it comes like that otherwise you will get a black screen and the rest of these icons whatever in your computer will come okay now i have to save this what i have to do i have to go to file save as then i have to go to this desktop from here i have to select desktop from here and then i have to go to jit mock exam because i have saved the source file there then I have to go to the zip file actually only zip file is uh, you can see sorry unzipped file you can see only the unzipped file here click on it and question number 41 they are asking you to give the name as programs so I am going to put it as programs then here you can see jpeg is already selected so if they ask for gif you can select gif and press save button now it has been saved okay so um, you can go to uh, question number 41 now check mock exam source files question number 41 you can see the program file is there right so uh, i'm going to the next question now um, this time i'm going to uh, close this because i don't need that one anymore but i'm going to keep the snipping tool uh, minimized like this then i'm going to the question it says get a screen indicating the processor type of your computer and its clock speeds when then using the snipping tool take an image of the above output save it as a jpeg file in the question 41 folder with the name with the file name processor and upload it so i have to go to system properties i am going to system into information uh, so i go to this place once i get this window i'll go to the snipping tool 
before that I am going to the question paper again it says take an image of the above output above output which means processor, processor type of the computer and its clock speed get a screen indicating so I have to get the full screen here even so I am going to minimize this again I am going to new screenshot and then I have to select full screen snip then automatically the full screen you can see the processor speed and the things are there so you can go to new sorry I have I am doing it again new full screen snip you will get this go to file and then save as now I don't have to select because I went to that place so I can save it as processor and dot already jpg file type is selected so I don't have to change it I'm saving it now uh, we just uh, forgotten one thing no yes you may thinking why I didn't upload the file no here they are telling to upload it here for each and every question when you are doing uh, each and every question uh, if there's anything to upload it's better to upload and go so uh, here I am going downward now this space is uh, for type uh, sometimes you get some things to type uh, now at this question we don't have to now you can click on this button or uh, this is uh, this comes only for the first time but each and every time you can click on this add file button this window will appear then you have to select upload file then choose file then you have to choose file from where you saved it now I am going with the lengthy away even though it's there now I have to select desktop then on my desktop I have created GIT mock exam I have to select that then inside that source file is there I have to select that and then question 41 see the programs are there first one is program I have selected it and say upload the file you can see the progress once it's finished it will come to this place then I'm going for the second question uh, second answer choose file uh, then once I have selected it for the first time I will be in the same folder um, for the next question even so uh, I will select processor and upload this file so it will again upload the second answer then I am going back to the third question get a screen indicating the operating system name and version of your computer then using the snipping tool take an image of the about output save it as a JPEG now you have to take a screen okay a screenshot now here I am going back to a uh, yes before I have to uh, go to this uh, this PC you can uh, you can access it uh, even uh, it will be on your desktop you can right click on it and select properties over here I just search for it and select properties so in the properties you can see what is the window operating system and what is the version and all so I am going to take a screenshot I'm going to take a screenshot I can go to snipping tool new then again I can say mode full screen so you will get something like this then you can go to file save as then you can save it as OS and you can select save as type JPG and save it right so it will be there Mm, on your window uh, on your folder so again I have to go to the question I have to select the file like this choose file select OS then say upload this file it will be uploaded to your exam paper now I have done with this 41 question I am going to finish attempt so likewise uh, for each and every question I'll discuss uh, with you but here I have to finish the attempt okay so um, I will finish the attempt return to attempt I'm not going for that submit all and finish submit all and finish 
then I will get a review like this. You can see the review at the end, the, the 41 question, number 41. You can see that I have uploaded things there. See, program and the three files I have uploaded, it shows, right? Other than that, all the other questions are blank. We haven't saved any answers. So you can just uh, have a look of all the questions are there. Another thing is I want to show you now when you go to a, a paper again and again uh, the question MCQ questions will be changed okay it will be shuffled now earlier we didn't get this question at the beginning okay so this time it came as the now earlier means when I am first logging to the system I just showed you the first two questions okay so this one was not there earlier so you should know that each and every time when you log into the uh, exam paper as a new attempt then the questions will be shuffled the same questions are there and it will be shuffled and come to you so uh, what we are going to do um, now when i am discussing from question number one to forty uh, you may not get the same uh, order of that questions when you are doing the paper so you have to uh, keep that in mind so till we next till we meet next time uh, stay safe stay home